Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads Special Edition. I am your host, Tisha King. And today we are going to talk about a very, very important matter, homelessness. We face and see a lot of homelessness here in Hawaii, just like in other states. But I think for some reason here on the island of Oahu, it seems to be more prevalent. It's often that we will hear of homeless being moved from location to location. And these families are being uprooted because what they have is considered their home. Where they are is as home to them as any place else. So we have used the term houseless because oftentimes they are without a house and they have made a home someplace else. Well, today we find ourselves in a conundrum because it's not easy to eradicate homelessness immediately and effectively. There are a lot of variables and a lot of moving parts that need to take place. We think about their immediate needs of food, shelter, and clothing. However, there's one aspect for one smaller demographic that goes unnoticed. For our babies, sometimes food, shelter, and clothing simply is not enough. They need something that is a lot more practical, something that requires change. And today's guest, Anne Komotsu, is going to talk with us about something that she does to help. Welcome to At the Crossroads, Anne. Thank you, thanks for having me. It is thanks totally my us. pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you for what you do. Mm -hmm. So you are a part, or actually the executive director, for Moms on a Mission, mm -hmm. is that correct? Mm -hmm. Well, executive director for Aloha Diaper Bank, mm -hmm. and then one of the co-founders of Moms on a Mission. Wonderful. So, yeah. And who is the other co-founder? Uh, my other co-founder is Roxanne Kimura. And okay. we started Moms in a Mission about nine years ago now. And uh, we've been in the community getting the word out to moms out there. Wonderful. So Moms on a Mission, M-O-M, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. helps mothers in a lot of different ways. Right. Can you tell us? So one of our things that we've, we decided to do when we started Moms in a Mission is, was to gather good, safe, healthy information that we could actually pass on to other moms. So you know as moms, mm -hmm. when we get good things, we mm -hmm. want to pass it on to other moms so that they can have the same, you know, enjoy the same things, discounts at different yes. places and shop mm -hmm. here, shop there. But also, and more important, was things that help to keep our family safe yeah. and healthy mm -hmm. here in Hawaii, in our community. So we decided that we could gather information and pass it on to different moms here mm -hmm. in, the, in the islands. That's terrific. Mm -hmm. So you do a lot of gathering of information and mm -hmm. sharing it through Moms on a Mission. Right. But you also have a very special uh, organization within Moms on a Mission. Right. So we uh, decided that we wanted to find a cause out there. We've um, supported a lot of different great uh, different um, uh, agencies out there. One mm -hmm. was the Ronald McDonald House, which yes. is a great, we, uh, we love the Ronald McDonald House. We've supported them because they help children in need and they are home away from home. Mm -hmm. So we've helped them for the last um, nine years. Nine years. Yes. So as long as you've been in existence, yes. you've yes. helped the Ronald yes. McDonald's house. Yes. So How have you helped well, them? Well, we help them by do donating um, cleaning products to them to, help, to make sure that their environments are cleaner and safer. We cleaning the, products. Cleaning just products. Yep, normal. they're healthier, safer cleaning products. Okay. And then we actually go up there and help and clean. Oh, wow. So <laughs> if you want to come and help us clean, come on, help us clean. Okay, okay. Um, just by doing things, small things like that for the Ronald McDonald House. Um, my other uh, uh, girlfriend and I, who are part of Moms in a Mission, Lauren, mm -hmm. Okini, she, she, we help with their fundraiser. We go out to their golf tournament. So we just help them with getting their word out. Um, to the community of what they are for um, for moms, right? Yeah, they because don't know that. Ronald McDonald House houses families whose Correct. children are in the hospital. Correct. So Correct. that's a very very important. And a lot of people don't know about that, right? Really, right? Yeah. Um, another organization that we support is Shriners Hospital. A lot of people don't know that they can get you know great medical assistance there mm -hmm. at Shriners. So a lot of moms didn't know about that. Um, different things in, our, in, in the community that we just hold in Apua. Mm -hmm. Human trafficking is another thing that it's we a brought. really big issue. Yes. Um, and a lot of times we, we, we're kind of like in denial. We don't want to mm -hmm. know that, that those kind of things exist. 
right here at our malls and right here mm -hmm. in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So we brought that to moms and some teachers in mm -hmm. our community so that they could help with that. That's so right. So that's what Moms in Mission does. That's wonderful. So now mm -hmm. with your Ronald McDonald House fundraiser, mm -hmm. there are two main things that I've heard mm -hmm. about it that I want <laughs> to talk about and uh -huh, then I uh -huh. want to participate uh -huh. because I'm a junk food junkie. <laughs> so why don't you tell us about the sweets These, and treats uh, yeah. that you so have? So when we, every year we, we've had a Ronald McDonald, uh, we call it rock and roll night. Mm -hmm. So we have rock and roll night once a year and we have a fabulous, one of the big things that we have is a fabulous huge candy bar. A candy uh, bar. That, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty, uh, you know, pretty like Spacious. the length of this wall. Oh, wow. And then, uh, the guests come to partake of the candy bar. Now, here's really the fun. thing that really, really makes me laugh because I know Lauren Okishini, okay, okay. uh -huh. right? And so she said that it's adults. They rush to the table yes. with yes. bags and bags to load up right. on the candy, right. like it's trick-or-treating right. time. If, it's a, if a child comes up to the candy bar, they're afraid to take it. They, they can't imagine that all of this is free for them. But mm -hmm. it's been a big draw for us. We call it the candy, uh, Rock and Licious Candy Bar. Rock and delicious candy bar. Right, right. Okay. So the next other, time we have a, a, a event, you can mm -hmm. come to I'll that. I'll be there. Okay. Make sure I know about it or make yeah. sure Lauren tells me. Uh -huh, I uh -huh. will be there. Okay. I'm all about the candy. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. But the other thing is mm -hmm. the country store that you also support. Yes. So we do it for the Ronald McDonald House. We do the country store. So if you ever go to the, their gala, mm -hmm. uh, we do the country store. If you'd like to donate to things yes. to the country store, that'd be wonderful. Okay. And we just... Have a, a array of things. We do a lot of things um, from the outer islands that we bring in that you can't get here okay. in on Oahu. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, great. It's a great That's cause fantastic. to support. Mm -hmm. And after supporting all of these other entities, we decided Moms in a Mission needs to find something for us to yes. to to uh, a mission for us to look and embrace. Mm -hmm. um, so we looked around for the need, and we found a need. And that's what yeah. happens. If you go out looking for a need to fill, you mm -hmm. can find it. Right. Yes. Right. And so you birthed Aloha uh -huh. Diaper yes. Bank. Yes. Aloha Hence Diaper Bank. the t-shirt. I love it. <laughs> yes. The <laughs> Aloha Diaper Bank. Okay. So we looked and found, uh, we actually were guided to the National Diaper Bank. There is mm -hmm. a National Diaper, diaper Bank that actually heads um, uh, the nation, and there are 250 diaper banks around America, okay. and lo and behold, Hawaii didn't have one. Nice so uh, they were an affiliate with Aloha Diaper Bank. There is a small other diaper bank that is here on Hawaii Island, and it's called Hawaii Diaper Bank, mm -hmm. and we're very aware of them, and we want to partner with them and help them too. So when crisis occurs, um, the Aloha Diaper Bank and Hawaii Diaper Bank can kick in and help. You know, so when we found out that there wasn't one, an established uh, one with the National Diaper Bank, we decided, okay, this is a great cause to take on because we're all moms. Okay, so and now. we know. We know. We, we know, know the cause. We so know. tell us. We're going to show a yeah. picture. Okay. Why diapers? Right. Why diapers? Mm -hmm. So diapers because, number one, food stamps and mm -hmm. all those great things that we get do not cover diapers. Mm -hmm. They don't see it as need, but mm -hmm. we know it is a necessary need. So mm -hmm. um, on that list is food stamps can't be used to cover diapers when you go to the market. Mm -hmm. um, diapers cost about 100 especially here, a little bit more to $150 yes. Yes. Uh, a month for diapers. Um, $150? Yeah, to 100, 100 to $150 for diapers. For diapers alone. Yeah, for diapers alone. So a lot of times... Um, when we have families in crisis, there's a choice to be made. Yes. So we see uh, children in diapers for extended periods of time. Mm -hmm. So all day mm -hmm. or even longer than that. Um, That's going to be A awful. lot of parents who are in crisis use diapers over again. Um, oh. So it really um, uh, is a health issue. It yes, becomes a health sanitary. issue for, no, for the know. child and yeah. for our babies. So. We want to make sure that we can help that. One in three children suffer from diaper need. Mm -hmm. One in three. And here um, we have about 56,000 babies under the, year of, under the age of three years old. So if one in three, we're looking at almost you know, uh, 20,000 children that are, could be in diaper need out there. Wow. And um, since we've started this and since we've launched Aloha Diaper Bank, we have seen a need 
mm -hmm. um, arise. So yes. I understand now. So on that list, mm -hmm. let's take a look. Let's mm -hmm. keep going down as to why diapers uh, matter. Many parents choose between buying food and diapers. Oh, that's a tough choice. That's a tough choice, right? Oh, so, you know, a baby can stay in diapers longer by food. Right. Um, child, care, child care centers will not take children if they are not potty trained or you don't come along with the diapers. So there's a lot of um, child care centers now that will take your child mm -hmm. if you bring diapers with if them. If you bring the diapers. Right. But if okay. you don't and you can't, then you're missing out on that. Um, uh, lack of diapers just lead to tension and stress and all those kind of things in a family. So we're not only diapering a baby, we're helping to lift up a family. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, um, there's less stress for mom. Right. Know? Yeah. And that's what you want. You yeah. want to avoid that extra stress, especially, right. especially for families who are already in a crisis. Right. Correct. Yes. Correct. Um, so, you know, I just had a brand new grandson. Congratulations. And I, I, you know, I didn't realize how many diapers brand new, ba I didn't, rem I don't remember, but a brand new newborn can go through 10 diapers a day. That's right. You know, so you're constantly changing them and constantly. And so uh, it, it is a huge, huge, huge need. It's right. a need. Yeah. Wow. Definitely So need. now how old's your grandbaby? He is... I think six weeks old. Oh, so yeah, he's brand, really brand new. Brand new. <laughs> oh my goodness! Congratulations. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So that is at least for an for the baby they're awake at least eight to ten hours a day with naps. You mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm, so yeah, mm -hmm. that's like at least a a, a um, one hour one mm -hmm. diaper per hour. Right. That they're awake and then they sleep right. and they soak through their while mm -hmm, they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot yeah. for one family. But it is, it is a big, for a mother, mm -hmm. uh, being without diapers is a big stressful need. I mean, you yeah. know when you write on diapers, it's like, yeah. we need to go to the store, we need to buy diapers. Mm -hmm. But it is very expensive. Yeah. Very, so very expensive. We, we know that you now supply mm -hmm. that need. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about some of the ways that you do mm -hmm. it. We're going to take a quick break right now. Mm -hmm. okay. But we're going to talk in a minute about how you get the word out, mm -hmm. how others can help. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're gonna talk about where your diapers go. Mm -hmm. So are you just perfect. giving them out on the street? We wanna know, we wanna know all the details. <laughs> okay, perfect. And then you all will have an opportunity to help as well because it's not just for the homeless, as you've heard, it's for people who are in crisis. But when we think about our homeless, we think about food, shelter, and clothing. We want you to start thinking about something as basic and as practical and necessary as diapers, because babies need a change. Mm -hmm. Get it? That's my only joke. <laughs> That's the only joke I have. We're going to take a quick, commercial, <laughs> quick break, and we'll come right back after this. Thank you. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea is on Think Tech Hawaii every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join me where my guests talk about law topics and ideas and music and Hawaiiana all across the sea from Hawaii and back again. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Stan Osterman, a host here on Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness here on the island. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Mahalo. I was like, no. <laughs> Aloha and welcome back to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Keisha King, and today we're having a great conversation with Annie. Komatsu. Komatsu <laughs> from the Aloha Diaper Bank. Welcome back, Annie. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's such a pleasure. You're doing such important work to help mm. people. And I love people who help people. I love helping people, too. So now what you guys do at the Aloha Diaper Bank mm -hmm. is collect diapers to help people who are in crises. Right. Correct. Right. But how do you do this? So we are right now, like the food bank, collecting food. We're a diaper bank and we collect, we're collecting diapers to, to stock up our bank. 
so that we can go out and give these diapers out to families in need. Mm -hmm. So we do a couple things. We actually do, we have um, diaper drives. So if you are a club, a church, an organization that would like to do a drive and would like to do some kind of community service, we would love for you to participate with us. So diaper drives are just done by basically putting out um, boxes out there in your community and say that you want to drive for diapers for the Aloha Diaper Bank and then okay. donate diapers. So okay. we've had a couple people do that. We've mm -hmm. had um, Kalina Eldridge, who is running for Miss Hawaii, actually. Oh, nice. She just, um, she just did a diaper drive and raised 10,700 diapers. Wow. Wonderful. So that's great. And yes. we have Thank another you. Yes. <laughs> we have another young man called E. Ellis who is actually going for an Eagle Scout. Oh. So he's decided to make this his Eagle Scout project oh, and go out and collect diapers for the Lahore Diaper Bank as well. So that's you know, that's great. gotta be a great thing. Yes. People actually have the opportunity to take this on as a personal project. Yes. Yes. So that teaches them, especially our youth, mm -hmm. about community service and giving back, right. giving to others in need. Right, right. Yes, I love that. And it's so easy to do. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for the youth, it's, it's close to their heart because it is a baby, so they mm -hmm. want to help. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a great, great project. So what we do is we actually do diaper drives. We also do fundraising. We do, okay. um, we do love uh, cash donations. Uh, we can, uh, with the National Diaper Bank, because we're partnered with them now, we can actually purchase diapers. Um, Huggies is the partner. We can actually purchase a container and then bring it over to Hawaii. So um, nice. that's exciting for us and um, bring it to our warehouse here. And then mm -hmm. that's where we distribute from. But um, we love the community being involved and getting mm -hmm. involved with us. Wonderful. From, yeah. So mm -hmm. now, so that's that process. Mm -hmm. You do have a lot of collecting. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you do? Do you give them so, five out at a time? No, ration now, it out. When How we does that work? when we get the boxes of diapers, because it comes in all shapes and sizes and sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, when it when we do get it, we we actually unpack the boxes of diapers, and we, then we do what we call a diaper wrapping. Diaper so, wrapping. wrapping, right? I think we have a picture of it. Yes. Um, so we actually do okay. diaper wrapping, and mm -hmm. we have. This is a youth group, a church youth group that, that actually decided to uh, volunteer for that. Oh, I love and, that. And um, we wrap the diapers in twenty fives. Okay. Okay, by the size, mm -hmm. and then we actually stock them, and mm -hmm. then we work with agencies mm -hmm. that work with individuals that are in diaper need. Okay, and I believe okay. we have a picture of you with right. one of your agencies. So one of our agencies is um, HCAP, or Early Head Start. Okay. So that's one of our agencies that we've partnered with. And if you're part of that agency, um, they will get you diapers. Okay. Um, we also do Keiki Okaina. It's another um, uh, nonprofit out there that we're helping. So we want partners in our community whether you're an agency a church or an organization mm -hmm. can we just be another organization of women that mm -hmm. like to help their individuals in their community um just i have my information up and call me and mm -hmm. um, we can set up something to partner with you i love that mm -hmm. so now you partner <clears throat> with all these uh different types of agencies mm -hmm. i'm wondering how do the people who are on the street find mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. And so we are diapers. currently working with a homeless shelter and another homeless agency that will actually, they already know the people, the homeless people that are out there so that we can give them the diapers to distribute to them. So they okay. will take it to the homeless out there okay. so, and get, get it to them. Okay, right. so they, because a lot of times those agencies already know who they right. are, they know Correct. where they are. They're already working with them. Um, especially if they want to see their children, they want to see and do baby well checks to make sure that everything is going well with the babies and the children out there. Um, this is a way for them to actually go and visit and make a visit to the home. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. That's such an important thing that you mm -hmm. do. So now you mentioned fundraising yes. and events. Yes. Do you have something coming up? Yes, in September it is a, um, Diaper Awareness Month <laughs> nationally. Really? Yes, They've nationally. Got a month for everything. <laughs> yes, Diaper yes. Diaper Awareness yes. Month. Right. Aware of what? So, what do you need to be aware well, of? <laughs> we want people to be aware that there is a need. Okay. There is a need for diapers out there. Mm -hmm. I not only get calls from agencies, but I do get calls from individuals as well. I see. That are looking for diaper need help. Mm -hmm. So they are out there, and if I can 
get these individuals to an agency or to a church in their area that, that um, people can help. I mean, that's what we want to do. Mm -hmm. So in September, we want to go out to the malls. So Lauren mm -hmm. Okini, she's going to help us to do that. We're going to coordinate, go out to the malls and just make our community aware that diaper need is live and well in our, in our community. Um, and then we're going to be doing a diaper dash. It's called diaper dash okay. where you can bring your whole family down and dash around in an obstacle course and mm -hmm. dash for diapers. So we're going to be organizing that. All right. And then there's more things coming up. But right now, um, September is diaper awareness month. All right. Yeah. So it takes nine months to make a baby. Yes. Typically. Yes. So in the ninth <laughs> month, we are going to focus on diaper awareness yes. because it's important. That is a good Isn't observation. Isn't that good to remember, right? Yeah. Very well, good you know. observation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be good for something, yeah. right? So there we have it. So right. September is your diaper awareness month. Right. And then after that, you're going to have a diaper dash. Mm -hmm. And people can participate in this. Now, is it going to be at Ala Moana Mall? Um, we're checking just... to see where we're going to. We're actually in the works of doing all of that. Okay. So. So we will keep yes, an eye out for we will. that. We'll come back and talk to you, you about that. You can come back and you certainly can talk mm -hmm, to us about mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. And keep us aware because the goal for that is simply to create awareness. Awareness. That's not a diaper drive. Right. Okay. I mean, it will be a diaper drive as well. You can okay. bring diapers to that and donate diapers okay. uh, for the dash. Um, okay. But it is really, really about getting, uh, getting the awareness out to people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. What you're doing is providing a most practical need. As we mm -hmm. mentioned at the top of the show, we cannot eradicate homelessness uh, so quickly. There right. are a lot of variables right. that are in play. You know, we think about a house and whether or not it's affordable or if there mm -hmm. are jobs and whether or not they can find employment. But sometimes it's just about meeting that immediate and practical need. A little thing, right? That's, that's and we simple. take diapers open packed sometimes Children grow out of their diapers. So if you mm -hmm. have open packed diapers laying around, we'll mm -hmm. take those too because we okay. repackage everything. So they don't so, have to wait for the diaper dash no, to donate. They can, yeah, they can just right. donate. Okay, yeah. so how can they find you? Um, Aloha Diaper Bank. Info at alohadiaperbank.com. Uh, org. I'm sorry. Okay, so info. info. I'm going to say it here. Yeah. Info at alohadiaperbank.org. Got right. it? All right. Info at alohadiaperbank.org is how you can find out more information, and it's also how so you can um, donate, donate, you donate monies and donate diapers. Because, you know, children grow so fast. Mm -hmm. So your six-week-old grandbaby right oh, now yeah. might start in a, a smaller mm -hmm. size and need mm -hmm. something larger very mm -hmm. quickly. But I know also there are tons of families who are financially stable, who don't have a care in the world, mm -hmm. and they receive diapers during their baby showers. Right, right. So mm -hmm, I would imagine mm -hmm. that if they had an abundance, mm -hmm, that they mm -hmm. could donate to you. Yes, we get a lot of that, too. Yeah. We get a lot of that, That's too. That's good. So wherever you, there's a diaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we can fill the need. We can so. fill the need. Okay, sounds good. Do you use cloth diapers, or we, is it only? Right now, we are only doing disposables, um, okay. just because it's a... It, Cloth is awesome. It's great. Yes, it is. Uh, we can do. We were looking into a program where we can have uh, people help to make some cloth diapers, okay. but it's just the education that goes behind it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And and uh, for homelessness too, it's it's very hard. Yeah. Very very hard. So. Yeah. You know, we work with, uh, we love our partners, 808 Beach Cleanups. We love mm -hmm. them. We work with it with Moms in a Mission. And it's just education, making sure that we're not burying diapers in the sand. When you oh. go to the beach, do yes. not do that. Oh. <laughs> um, yes. You know, Please we take don't. something to take it home with us and dispose it correctly. Uh, there is um, different organizations out there actually um, trying to, to recycle diapers. Oh. So I would love for somebody, University of Hawaii, somebody, some project, take mm -hmm. on how to recycle diapers. That would be so awesome. That's, so disposable diapers. Yes, how to recycle disposable, disposable, diapers. disposable diapers. Right, right. Well, and, that's turning a it, and turning it into energy. That would be great. That is a thought. Yeah. Yeah, that would yeah. be great. Mm -hmm. You can recycle everything. Yes. Yeah, so that sounds like a good project for someone mm -hmm. to take on. Not me. I don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I see what you're saying with yes, regard yes. to that. And it's good that you provide the education mm -hmm. and you make sure they know. Please don't, don't bury it in the yeah, sand. Yeah, Please don't shake yeah. it out and try not to yeah. reuse. Yes. That's so yes. important. So many people don't know and need mm -hmm. to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So are there any parting words that you would like to share with our viewers about any parts of the program? Are there any success stories or anything? Well, we're just starting. We are um, like, I think nine, not even nine months old yet. Mm -hmm. We started in right before April, you know, okay. and we actually went to Atlanta, Georgia to find out all about diapers in November. So for us, it's brand new, but it's accelerated so quickly because of the need. And um, if you or your church um, have a need and like to partner with us, we'd mm -hmm. love to hear from you. Um, if you'd like to do a diaper drive and do something for your community or do something as you know, it just brings people together to do something for their community. Um, mm -hmm. We'd love to have you do that, too. So. Wonderful. I think mm -hmm. it's amazing that you're so young in this, and yet you have helped uh, some people, agencies and you've really. helped agencies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. And I also like the fact that you partner with other um, nonprofit mm -hmm. organizations. I think that's important because there are tons of nonprofits. Yes. And yes. I think... You know, I think something else that could be helpful is if there were a pool of other um, nonprofit organizations so we would know who is doing what mm -hmm. and what is happening mm -hmm. and how others can help. So That's to come. We have yeah. that on our schedule. We'd like to, uh, in a, probably a year when we get everybody together, mm -hmm. um, have everybody gather together and, uh, yeah. you know, just network with each other, yes. see what each other does. Right, because mm -hmm. I think that sometimes some things overlap, mm -hmm. and I think that there could be some really great partnerships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was it like getting the partnership with Huggies? Uh, well, they're with the National Diaper Bank. They're mm -hmm. partners with them, mm -hmm. so it was great for us to partner with National Diaper Bank. So they support us. They get a lot of statistics for us. They, they lobby for us in Washington because a lot of states don't tax their diapers. Mm. So wouldn't that be great? Yes, it would. <laughs> because it is a need. And if we had. And at $150 a month. Right, right. That's huge. Right. So they do a, lobby, a lot of lobbying for us for out there. That's so, so it's good. great. Yeah. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you. The difference that you're going to make in mm -hmm. so many lives. Um, we certainly appreciate it. And I know that there are families out there who will benefit. Mm -hmm. So. Good job, Thanks Moms so on a Mission and the Aloha Diaper Bank. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> and so your name is spelled A-N-N-E. Right. Friends call you Annie. Annie, yes. And I'm calling you Annie because we're yes, friends Annie. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank I you. I want to thank you all for watching. You've been watching At the Crossroads where we've been speaking with my friend Annie at the Aloha Diaper Bank. If you'd like to get involved, please look them up. They have all the social media, Facebook. Instagram, mm -hmm. and you can find them at info at alohadiaperbank.org. Mm -hmm. Okay, a wonderful nonprofit organization who's doing great things right here for our families that especially are in crisis and homeless. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Keisha King. Aloha.